Hello, Unitarian Universalists. I am so excited for our upcoming General Assembly, the annual gathering of our Unitarian Universalist Association, where we gather to share and worship, reconnect, engage the business of our association, and grow our skills and inspiration for leadership and ministry. After this unimaginably difficult year, it will be good to come together to circle round in community, to circle round for justice, healing, and courage. We will do so again online this year with a brand new app and ex exciting improvements to how we connect virtually. This is such a critically important time. We gather in the midst of an historic reckoning with endemic systems of racism and injustice. And we have a generational opportunity to build the kind of just and anti-oppressive world we imagine, both within our faith communities and in the world. That's why we've invited Stacey Abrams and Desmond Mead to be in conversation as the Wear Lecturer at GA. They are on the front lines of the fight against voter suppression, the front lines of the fight to protect and expand democracy, because democracy is essential to build a future that includes everyone. And this connects to our own theologically grounded commitment to the beloved community, a diverse and loving community where all people can belong and thrive. For decades, UU congregations have called on the UUA to focus on racism and systemic oppressions within and beyond our congregations and communities. My president's report at GA will provide updates on these priorities, as well as our work to implement the recommendations of the Commission on Institutional Change. We remain committed to centering Black, Indigenous, and UUs of color, and broadening the range of life experience to which our faith is relevant and life-giving. This anti-racism and anti-oppression culture change work is beautiful and liberating. It is the deepest expression of our values as Unitarian Universalists. The core principles of our theology of dignity, equity, justice, compassion, and interdependence, these are more than just proclamations. They require action on the part of all of us. And during GA, we'll engage questions of how we respond to our highest aspirations and core values as a covenantal faith with discernment with the Article II Study Commission. This has been a year full of loss and trauma. It has also been a year when we have pulled together centered care and compassion and been courageous in our prophetic leadership. After all this year has brought and as we prepare for what comes next, I can't wait to connect with you at GA Online, June 23rd through June 26th. You can register today at UUA.org.